Twitter has changed ownership. Let that sink in. Whether you like it or not, on October 27th, Elon Musk took control of Twitter, tweeted the bird is freed and appointed himself CEO or the chief twit. Weeks following the takeover, we saw employees from leadership to contractors being fired, top executives leaving the company, $8 for the Twitter verification badge feature and its suspension, fake verified accounts creating havoc and so on. Overall, a lot is happening over Twitter, but at the same time, no one has a clear picture of what's going on. Musk first offered to buy Twitter back in April 2022 and, since then, it's been a bumpy road filled with withdrawn offers, lawsuits, accusations, and so much more. On April 4th, Musk announced that he now owned 9.2% of Twitter, making him the largest shareholder of the social media company. Later on the same month, he offered to buy Twitter for $44 billion. Twitter was valued at $37 billion at the time. On April 25th, Twitter agreed to Musk's $44 billion deal. But in the following months, Musk raised concerns over the number of spam bots and fake accounts. He said Twitter's CEO publicly refused to show proof of less than 5%, adding that this deal cannot move forward until he does. Later Musk tried to back out of the acquisition altogether, stating the continuing disagreement over the number of spam accounts on the platform as the reason. And Twitter sued him to abide by the acquisition agreement. The trial was set to start in October. But before it began, Musk once again agreed to buy Twitter for the same $44 billion and on October 27th, he completed the takeover of Twitter. As part of the acquisition deal, the entire Twitter board of directors were fired and Musk now serves as the social media company's sole director. Also with the deal, Musk took Twitter as a private company, delisted the company's stock and took it out of the hands of public shareholders. Immediately after the deal was closed, the top executives were fired. Parag Agrawal, Twitter's chief executive, Ned Siegel, the chief financial officer, Vijay Agati, the top legal and policy executive, and Sean Edgett, the general counsel. This was followed by a massive layoff. There have been speculations of job cuts ever since Musk took over Twitter. Musk has authorized his close advisors, backers and top engineers from his Tesla and other companies to evaluate Twitter's current position and to help in running it. In a severe round of cost-cutting, Twitter laid off about 50% of its total workforce in departments across the company. Twitter was hit with a class-action lawsuit for not giving employees enough notice. Amid all the chaos, many high-level executives have left the company, including Twitter's head of trust and safety and the chief information security officer. According to Elon Musk, he bought Twitter because, as he described himself, a free speech absolutist and wants civilization to have a common digital town square. Based on Musk's earlier tweets, one major development everyone looks forward to was relaxed content moderation and banned account reinstatements, including restoring former President Donald Trump's account. No changes have been made so far to the current content moderation system. According to Musk's recent tweets, Twitter will form a policy advisory body that will reflect diverse viewpoints to oversee content moderation decisions. Twitter, even though is a major social media platform, doesn't have a massive user base compared to other old and newer major platforms. It has a very few monthly active user base, about 450 million. Though this is definitely not a small number, it is small compared to that of Facebook, YouTube and others, and considering its influence. What makes Twitter special is that it is the playground for trendsetters, celebrities, politicians, decision makers and journalists and an announcement and support portal for companies. Twitter originally had the blue check mark to indicate active, notable, and authentic accounts of public interest that Twitter had independently verified, based on certain requirements. As of 2021, there were roughly 400,000 verified accounts, just 0.1% of active accounts. Elon Musk wants to change this user verification system, saying power to the people. Prior to this, the Twitter Blue subscription cost $4.99 per month and allowed users to edit their tweets, get early access to new features, and more. And now with $7.99, in addition to these features any user could get the Blue verification check mark if they signed up for Twitter Blue. But what happened was, imposters spawned fake verified accounts for everything and everyone, 
including Elon Musk. Twitter suspended the blue verification by purchase option following this chaos. This will be relaunched on November 29th as per the latest tweet. Elon Musk seems to have much bigger plans for Twitter. For him, Twitter is the accelerant for creating X, the everything app. While Musk didn't elaborate on what X would look like, many reckon he's aspiring to replicate the success of WeChat, which has already become the everything app in China. There are further speculations about introducing monetization features for content creators, relaunching Twitter's Vine or a similar service as a competitor for TikTok, and so on. Elon Musk says Twitter is losing $4 million each day and is looking for options that might help the social media platform turn a profit. Twitter has been profitable only for two years in its long history. Apart from Musk's own money and stock shares, the Twitter accusation deal is made possible using $13 billion of debt financing from various U.S. banks and $7.1 billion investment from various equity investors, including Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison and Saudi Prince Awali bin Talal. A major issue for Twitter is losing advertisers. Advertisement accounts for more than 90% of Twitter's annual revenue. Major advertisers like General Motors, Pfizer and United Airlines have fled Twitter since Elon Musk took over the platform. This is because of the concerns about a rise in misinformation, hate speech, and other distasteful content due to relaxed moderation policies expected to come. In an open letter to Twitter advertisers, Musk stated that Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hell's cape, where anything can be said with no consequences. He also added that Twitter aspires to be the most respected advertising platform in the world. A lot is happening on Twitter every day now, with many suggestions and arguments and counterarguments. Everyone is eagerly awaiting for announcements on the platform's economic model and the content moderation rules that will determine which posts are acceptable and not. So what do you guys think about the current Twitter situation? Let us know in the comments.